Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. We just finished scanning a mother. Oh, no. Censor that. Editing Rory. Censor it. <laughs> we just finished scanning a Leviathan. That was a scary experience. But now, what we want to do is we actually want to go into. Actually, this is a bad route by the looks of it. This is not a good way to go. We want to go into uh, the deeper areas of this zone, this like thermal vent zones. And uh, we, want, we want to get to Copper Station. It's basically what we want to do. We've actually been there before. But last time we went in there, uh, I, got, I got really deep in there. And then I was like, okay, we don't have time to do this. I might have even just been running around in person. Like, I might not have even, even been in a vehicle at the time. So I was like, I don't have, I don't have time. I don't have air to keep breathing. Oopsies, I keep hitting my vehicle <laughs> and taking percentages off. Oh, that rock puncher is falling. Yeah, I have a feeling I went into one of these little cracks here. God, I haven't been around this side of the station. I don't think I've ever been around this side of the station. I don't like that. Even though I'm pretty sure it's just one of those scaredy cats. I hate that in this this vehicle, in the sea truck, there's no like aggressive actions you can take. I like in the prawn suit how you can punch and, and you can use the drill hands. Where the freaking hell? <laughs> I was about to say, how the hell did I get in there last time? But I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. I was going in there in person. Oh, this looks much bigger. It's scary because of the geothermal activity, but it's much bigger. Oh dear. This is it. Here we go. Oh, I could just barely fit through there. Oh, okay. But here we are. This is the room we came to. We arrived in this room when we were just swimming around, and I was like, I don't have breath for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Copper Station. And I believe you can go just down there by the elevator. So, here's that data box. This must be it. Let's grab it. Oh, it's the fucking moon pool! Yay! <laughs> yeah! Bloom. New blueprint acquired. <laughs> if the game won't do the fanfare, I'll do the van the fanfare. Vehicle upgrade console. Yes, yes. Part of the moon pool. Oh, rock rubs. <coughs> I believe these were in the first game. I don't know what they're used for. If anything. Inedible grub. Swims around until it oh can get to a wall and then it like crawls along the wall. Okay, so we have a fucking moon pool. That's brilliant. I'll add that to my base as soon as I can. But before we do anything, where's that artifact? I should remove the artifact we already have. Wait, wait, wait. Must have been this one. Yeah, because the one we're going for is like directly below us. There it is, yeah. Do we just like go down here? Seems to be some sort of like monorail. Well, not not mono, bi rail. <laughs> some sort of rail system uh, for the for the bases here. Oh, this one's even open. Oh, what's that? What kind of fish is that? Is that a fish I've scanned? Oh, it's the, um, the tri triops, yes. Or triops. I kind of wish there was a way to just, like, hop straight in the sea truck, other than by angling it so that the sea truck is not able to be walked in. <laughs> I think this might be a bit too small for the sea truck. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's go in on foot. 
before I do, I'll quickly repair my sea truck. I might have been able to go in here with my prawn suit, actually. Oh, I already have- I forgot I didn't go back to my base. Oh, but I have storage in the prawn suit, yes. Currently, my prawn suit acts as my storage module because it- I have actual storage in there. Oh, what the? Is this outside? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh? What kind of egg are you? Oh, oh, diamond. Nice. <laughs> Avoid the geothermal activity. Yeah, yeah, this is just an open space over here. Damn it, I could have got access to this way easier. And as far as I can tell, the only animals... The only dangerous things here are the, uh, the, the thing, the scaredy cat things. I can't remember the name. I think all the stuff here is designed to, like, lead you towards the entrance. So yeah, in the prawn suit, if I open this part, I have just storage. So I can dump all the diamond I have in there. <laughs> dump all the ruby. Uh, lithium. Actually, just, just dump everything. Alright, let's dive deep into copper. <laughs> Not copper, but copper. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Actually, before we do, let's just see what this does. Let's just see what this panel does. Oh, I can't actually interact with it, because it's... It was probably... This area was probably not supposed to be... Supposed to probably have air in here. It's supposed to probably be vented. I was gonna say, I'll go in the prawn suit, but actually, I don't wanna... I don't wanna struggle getting the prawn suit out of this hole. I suppose I could always just go down here with the sea truck afterwards. What am I hitting? What was I hitting? <laughs> oh, rock puncher. What are you doing down here? A lot of animals, when you kill them, they don't respawn. But then a lot of the smaller fish do. Fish like the tree ops probably do. So I'm like, come on, I'm right here. I'm like sitting here and they swim right into me. So this was some sort of, I, I believe this was, this is called a mining station? In the, on the maps and stuff? This is some kind of mining station. Now, I also remember, what's his face, Parvin, talking about... I only remember this because of the previous episode I just recorded. Sorry, I just edited. Parvin said something about the the mining site being more interesting to patrol. That makes me think that it's uh, it might be dangerous here. But let's be careful while we're down here. Let's save it, actually. <laughs> save it while we're in here. Ooh, what's that? Okay. Yeah, see, at, at this angle, I can't, like, walk around in there, so it just kicks me out. Thermal plant! Oh, nice! So I can build some bases. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. I only have one out of two, but... These were in the previous game. They're really good for building, like, outposts and bases and stuff in the deep areas where there's thermal activity. But it could actually also be useful for the above land areas where there's those thermal vents. Oh, I think there's another piece right here. Yeah, it is. Cool, cool, this will be it. Yay! A renewable, another renewable power source. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, I wanted to just glimpse at what was in that little cup thingy. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Use it immediately. Because I'm still hurt from the fucking Leviathan from before. <laughs> that was the most brave, ridiculous, stupid thing I've done. Did I ever grab a fish? I did. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, there's another prawn suit piece. Too bad I already have all the prawn suit pieces I need. Real arm. I'll just check here. Is, is there any upgrades? No. What is that? Oh, gold. Oh, a big lump of gold. I could mine that with my prawn suit, but I don't really need gold. Ooh. Aurora wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Right, so there's... This is the, like, delayed news about the Aurora. That was that was the news that it had, like, landed, and that there were still... Oh, Ruby. And that there were still survivors. But we know from playing the game, those survivors did not... Oh, no, we already got that. Those survivors did not last long. <laughs> so, that's very, very early news. Ooh, power cell, nice. Not that I really need power cells. I'm kinda good on that front. Hey. Oh, he tried to jump and punch me. <laughs> nice. I'm too fast for you, though. Oh, that was a blueprint we already had. <laughs> Even though it was in a data box. It was, we must have already got it. So yeah, these boys are still aggressive, even if you're not, like, directly in their face. They will attack you. There was that last time, like, he didn't attack me until I got right in his face, and then he punched me. Well, they are willing to punch a little further than they initially realized. Oh. Anything scannable here? I'm amazed that these don't count as scanning... You know, it's kind of all prawn suit spots. Maybe they are, but you can't, like, get titanium from from prawn suits. Like, the only blueprint you can't, like, get titanium from. Okay, I'm gonna go on an, I'm gonna try and sit at a relative angle. There. Oh, I see. That's why I couldn't sit any more of an angle. Oh? New technology acquired. Prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Nice. Awesome. I was like, I just saw I just saw a slot there. And I remember from like being in like the moon pool and stuff like that. Oh no, it was a Cyclops. The Cyclops had a had a thing like this for modules. Uh because the Cyclops is so big to like install the modules. It had its own like little bay to install modules and stuff. Uh okay, what have we got here? Oh hey Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? Mining site delivery. I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? Oh. I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. So Parvin... Hmm... Pavan was like a bit anti the the current situation. Interesting to note. Alright, I think I have to hop out here. I could go in my prawn suit. You know what, let's do it. Any excuse to use the prawn suit. <laughs> I like the I also like the way it talks. Welcome Oh, I can't fit in there. Damn it! <laughs> I thought I might be able to. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not quite this... It's not quite the super deep Cyclops voice, but it's close. The artifact you found yeah. contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Oh. They're four-legged? New technology acquired. Oh, ion battery. Alien statue. Ion power cells, yes, yes, so we've got the abilities to get the ion stuff now. Nice. 
The statue of unknown origin. Assembled with precision out of a block of pure copper ore. Oh. Appears to represent a creature of some sort and resembles the creatures, uh, the, sorry, the centaurs of ancient Greek mythology. Several theories have been po posited. The statue could serve as a cultural marker denoting the presence of authority, sorry, presence or authority of a particular race or subgroup of intelligent alien race. Possible religious artifact depicting a deity or, or otherwise noteworthy figure. Artistic expression. An invented form representing imaginative thought. Oh. Oh, am I cold? I was. I was getting really cold all of a sudden. That was weird. Oh, because I wasn't moving. I've noticed that. In areas that aren't freezing but are very cold, if you don't move, you either don't gain heat, or in this case, like, I act actively, like, got colder. <laughs> Anything else of interest here? Oh! Creature egg. What are these? What creature are these? There's a bunch of eggs. I think I've grabbed enough of them. There's still more in here. I've got to remember that. I actually don't usually like to grab this many eggs. What animal looks like that? The only thing I can think of is a leviathan, but I don't believe the leviathan egg would be that small. Oh, it's probably a rock puncher egg. It'll probably be a rock puncher egg. Can we get a rock puncher in our aquarium? If so, that's amazing. <laughs> what have we in here? There's more diamonds. It seems like the way that resources work is a little different in this game. A lot of resources are found in multiple locations. In like many different locations. Whereas previously there were some resources which really were limited to a one like zone. Oh, I, I apologize as well. I've just noticed that there's it's rain in the background. So yes, this whole area is full of prawn suits and drill arms. And it would seem that that's because this area is full of resources. It might just be that, that comment I was making before about resources being very broadly spread. Uh, it might just be because this is a mining zone with lots and lots of good resources. It's been raining like non-stop for two or more days here. Weird. I haven't been recording for- oh, 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 oh. I haven't really been- I haven't been recording, I've only been streaming. But, uh, yeah. New technology acquired. Headlamp. Oh, cool. Another elevator. Cool, cool. Was unexplained ion signature linked to the Aurora's disappearance? Uh, it's now been months since the sunbeam went quiet. The sunbeam was a vessel. That, see, I went cold again because I sat still for a while. And then I warm up when I start moving. That's actually really interesting. Uh, the Sunbeam was a vessel that they sent to try and save some of the uh, some of the survivors of, of uh, the Aurora. But it too, of course, was shot down by the gun on 4546B because of the quarantine zone thing. So I could... Actually, how much storage... How much space do I have on me? Not a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five... Spaces on myself. And how much space in here? I'll just take a bunch of the stuff that's in here. And then I'm gonna hop in the prawn suit and I'm gonna try and get some of the diamond. Do I need diamond? I mean, it's worth getting. I was gonna say, let's. I wanna use the drill arm. I might have to kill a rock puncher or two in order to mine here uninterrupted. Yeah, we can get some gold, I suppose.
I wonder how much gold there is in this. I might not be able to fit it all in my storage. Because it goes into the prawn suit's vehicle storage. I have space for two more. Well, three more, but... I don't know how much more there is. Okay, let's not take any more risks. What's this? Seek fluid and take. Oh my god, why isn't it breaking? Oh my god. Oh, okay. It's gold. You're supposed to be able to break them while you're in the prawn suit. Why didn't it work? Pick up gold. There we go. <laughs> there, I fully filled my my prawn suit's uh, inventory and my own. I don't have any fluid to, to seek. So, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Let's go home and empty our inventory. And what's interesting is I believe the prawn suit charges when you... Oh, this has happened again. See, I'm inside the sea truck, but I'm underwater. <laughs> That's so weird. If I hop out now. Yeah, it still counts as me being underwater. That's so weird. Now I'm inside. <laughs> That's so weird. It's so glitchy. Okay, so that must be what all that copper is. It's just... It's a mining zone. It's got the... Alien artifact stuff. And... Uh, a bunch of... A bunch of resources. And some blueprint stuff. Oh, sorry, Featherfish. I keep accidentally killing Featherfish and tri -opses. Yeah, this area reminds me a lot of the uh, areas that head down towards the inactive lava zone. Or the active lava zone in the first game. Man, the first game is so good. Like, this game's good, but every time I think about it, I just think back to the, the first game and how much fun I had in that game. How amazing that game was. All the discovery stuff. Well, now that you've stopped, let's get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Now, back to base. Back to home base. I'm still afraid of the open water sections of this game because... <sighs> there's still so much I haven't seen. And I am not interested. Yes, yes. I am so not interested. I so don't want to find the ecological dead zone in this game. So ecological- in- in both games, there's an ecological dead zone, which is basically, like, you go out into the open ocean, where there's nothing. It's the edge- it's the boundaries of the game. Most of the boundary of this game is actually sealed off, which is nice. In the first game, there was no boundaries. No, like, sealed off boundaries. If you move far enough in any direction, you'll reach the ecological dead zone. And... That is where the biggest, scariest leviathans are. The ones that are invincible and will hunt and hunt you. Actively hunt you and won't stop until you leave the uh, the ecological dead zone. Yeah. It's a little harder to park up in my base now because of the, the additions. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I gotta figure out where to put a moon pool. <laughs> yeah, where whereabouts do I put the moon pool? I'll probably end up putting it like somewhere over here. Have it linked to this this wall here or something. Oh actually that wall's used. Maybe I'll make you enter from no but that's just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> this is the answer. No, okay, so no the the sea truck does not charge the prawn suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, right, my inventory is absolutely full. Oh, that's right. Oh, I could have put that straight in and I would have had more space. Wait, let's go put this jump module inside the prawn suit. Jump jet module, there we go. Now that'll make my jump jet better. Powerful rear-mounted jets propel the prawn suit into the air. 
Oh, wait, no, that's... That might not be for land. Sorry, for ocean. That might be for land. It's so that when you're on land, you can still use the jump jets. I think that's what the deal is with that. Seek fluid in deep. Oh, I forgot. I was... <laughs> I was dying of thirst. I'll take that. Drink it. And I'll immediately take the next one. And drink it. There we go. Yeah, you start to get hurt if you don't take it fluid intake. <laughs> okay, so we got all these creature eggs. I don't know what these are, but I'm gonna hatch one in my aquarium. Uh, let's put the rest of the eggs. I don't know why I grabbed four of them. Put three of them in there. It's a big thing. Whatever it is, it's big. So I'm gonna guess rock puncher? Uh, if I go in this this way, I have to go down a floor. But, to be fair, it's right here. <laughs> oh, I never put the... I should put the entrance to the aquarium on this level as well. Damn it. I'm going to have to go get some quartz. And some titanium. Actually, I might already have titanium. I do already have titanium. I just need quartz. Damn it. No more space here. Shit. Okay, well, let's take this back out. <laughs> the nickel and put... Those in. I'll put the nickel back in here where I had it before. <laughs> put the nickel back. <laughs> Install a hatch right here. So that I can then go in here and I can drop this in here. That creature egg eventually, in these aquariums, these, these will eventually hatch. I really should put some fish, sorry, some plants in here though. Uh, what kind of plants would I want in there? I feel like there's not actually that many plantable, or like, plants you can get seeds for in this game. It's, I feel like it's way less than in the first game. But I could just be misremembering. That's why I have two violet bow in here. <laughs> I thought because I, I cut a green violet bow. There was a violet bow that was green in color, and I was like, oh, a green variant. Planted it, it was still purple. <laughs> and I have a, a creep vine uh, plant in there, like these ones here. Just because I wanted that extra red glow. And, a, and to have a bigger plant of some kind. So yeah, in a bit, in a little bit, we'll see a message saying, this variety of egg discovered, and it will tell us what, the, what that creature was that we were... Uh, <laughs> that we've just put the egg of in the new aquarium. We'll figure out what it was. Okay, so, next mission. Let's go back to the lily pad zone. We'll stop by the scanner. Oh, I could repair, I should repair my ship a little. I can stop by the vents scanner on the way. Yeah, if I go straight to vent scanner like this, I will get attacked by that freaking leviathan. So I have to, I have to go around. I have to sort of go towards the last known position first and then loop round to the scanner. <laughs> I built my base there, I started building my base there before I knew that there was a leviathan nearby. So now it's a, it's a constant pest. I hate how loud those little guys are. Little guys, they're still bigger than I am. I'm assuming it's a module that's not going to exist, but a module I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing currently, uh, is the the Cyclops had a module that meant basically it would run at super low awareness, I'll say. So basically, you could you could drive around at like low power speeds and nothing would know that you're there. Because of the, the low power speeds. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so we're back here. Back to the vent scanner. We could go down into the vents and look for blueprint, uh, for yeah, for blueprints and stuff. But I think we'll do that in a later episode in this session. Let's go back towards the lily pad zone and go into the, some of these deeper parts of the lily pad zone because I think that where is it? Yeah, if I stand here, that's it's over this way here, so somewhere either down here or down further this way. Is the is the Omega Lab, and that is where that is where I'm assuming uh, the mysterious woman is located, and because that's where that's approximately also where she like talked to me 
while I was recording, like, while I wasn't recording. And I stopped and quickly recorded. <laughs> she was like, I thought I told you to get off my turf. Uh, Altera, she had mentioned once again Altera scum or something. We we're like, we're not Altera. <laughs> I think we even asked, like, can we come in, basically? <laughs> can we come in? We just go, like, here and then start diving down. Mainly diving down to get away from... Freaking... Oh, sea monkey. If I hop out... I'll show you, I'll show you. I've, even though you've seen it before. Hey, sea monkey. How y'all doing? <laughs> there he is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's like all excited. He's like, ooh, he brought me some copper. I think it was copper. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're a renewable resource. Like they they make copper and other things like that renewable because they just grab it out of nowhere. They don't actually grab the copper. Might be a little tricky. Oh, what kind of arm is that? That looks like a, a prawn suit arm. Grappling arm. <gasps> oh, hey. Thank you for the titanium. Sorry, I didn't see you there. He brought me brought me titanium, but I didn't see him, so... He was like, aww. <laughs> he tried to swim away, but I caught him. I wish I had a scanner thing on the sea truck. I think you could get, I think you could get one for the sea moth in the previous game. It just comes on the glider, but for the Seamoth you, you could get like a, a module which would add it. Oh, this might be the the wrong deep zone. This looks like the deep zone that leads to that area with the, with the, um, it was an artifact structure but it was not the area that Marguerite. But it was, it's, yeah, this is not the area that the strange woman is found. Damn it. Because we went down here. This is where we got all these, like, we got a, it's a really unique zone. And it's where there's, like, grabby hand guys. There's those, like, traps that like to grab you and p try and pull you in. Where the hell was I when I found that spot? Was this it here? This looks a lot like the area that I was in. But I mean, it all looks pretty similar, this space. There's a light here. Which tells me I may be on track. I might be on the right track, yeah. Yes, ah, oh, awesome. Some Altera base structure stuff. Oh. Wait, this isn't, this isn't the base, is it? This is just an- oh. Oh, we're on the edge of the tree vent. Yes, that's a tree vent over there. Oh, interesting. Okay, where's the where's the entrance to this thing? This looks like a moon pool. I wonder if you could scan this moon pool if you haven't already got the moon pool. Uh, how do I get in here? Yeah, I don't see an entrance. Oh, unless I use the moon pool entrance. <laughs> I suppose I can't actually use it because it's her her prawn suit is in there. Let's just exit. But I suppose that's the only way in. It's via the moon pool. Oh oh yes, let's scan customized prawn suit. Here we go. Marguerite's prawn suit. Okay, <laughs> it's a funny way of introducing her to us. Marguerite. Oh no, during the, during the, I just remembered her name featured in that freaking thing, didn't it? When I talked to her last. Uh, I should look at the voice log. Here it is, yep. Didn't I tell you to stay away? Oh, here it. Didn't I tell you to stay away? I can just do this. What? I don't even know who you are. 
Marguerite made us. There it is. You're on my I trip. forgot. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Yeah. What the? Still thinks I'm underwater. When I put my head above the water here. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, we can get out, climb this ladder here. Yeah. Now we're inside her base. Marguerite Maida. That's what it is. Probably I didn't remember that, considering that uh, Marguerite is a name that I'm very familiar with because of Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Alright, so. As much as this is like a, a tease, I might leave this here because I don't want to make these episodes too long. So, <laughs> we got into Marguerite's base and we'll probably see her in here because she, she literally was broadcasting from here and her suit's here. So she's probably in here. We'll meet Marguerite in the next episode. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see, if you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I want to keep these episodes relatively short because, like, in the last time, last time I played Subnautica, episodes were often over an hour long, and I don't want to do that again. So uh, we'll t make little little steps towards victory in this game. <laughs> don't forget to check the links in the description for my social media pages and my merchandise store page. Uh, but until the next episode of Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero.